Hi, my name is Georgi Radulov and I want to analyze uh, this circuit. So uh, what we see here is um, an, a, a problem that was question number three from uh, a test given. And uh, the main question that is asked is uh, to determine the input impedance at certain frequency. So we have here a transconductance uh, stages and the transconductance stage is characterized by um, zero current flowing in, so infinite uh, uh, input impedance and uh, certain transformation ratio transconductance G which uh, transforms the input voltage into output current and uh, the output is, is current so the input is voltage and the output is current then uh, how this uh, circuit operates uh, the input uh, voltage is sense is transformed into current the current is integrated on this capacitor and then voltage is created and uh, uh, this uh, conductance stage outputs current this is a minus stage so this means that if uh, this current is flowing out from the stage then this current will be flowing into the stage we are asked to calculate the input impedance so we are interested into the impedance in the impedance what is the impedance at this point to calculate impedance uh, at a certain point what we do uh, is that we connect uh, a test voltage source with value of vx and we analyze what is then the current that uh, flows in or flows out from this uh, voltage source and this will be the current ix the ratio uh, vx divided by ix will be actually the impedance at the point that we analyze zx which in this case will be the input impedance once we calculate this we have uh, the parameters of the circuit and uh, we will uh, get the answer so let's analyze what's going on here. We have uh, Vx uh, um, voltage source connected. Then this transconductance stage will take this Vx and will transform it into output current. Let's call this output current IC. So this current will be Vx times G, the transconductance then this current will have to go into the capacitor it cannot go inside the transconductor stage because this is an ideal transconductor stage and the its, its input impedance is infinite so the current input current is zero then this current will go into the capacitor the impedance of the capacitor you know that c is one over sc then this voltage here let's call it VC is actually the current IC times ZC the impedance which is VX times G divided by SC then the next step is that uh, this voltage here will be transformed into current by this transconductance stage and uh, we also see that actually this is the current ix because we are interested in this current ix but it cannot go inside the first inside the first uh, transconductance so the whole current ix is flowing the second one the bottom in um, inside the bottom one from the output so it's the ix is determined actually by the bottom of the second transconductance stage all right, now we can write the Ix, then this is equal to the voltage Vc times G. The minus sign is taken into account by the direction of the current. It flows in, so minus sign. Then Ix is equal to Vx G square divided by sc so we took v c from here and then multiply by g 
And now we have everything needed to calculate what is Zx and give the answer for the input impedance. This will be Vx divided by this thing here, which is uh, uh, Vx g square and here in the denominator Sc. So Zx is equal to Sc divided by g square. Now what we see is that um, we have uh, a zero in the denominator, so in the origin, which basically defines inductive behavior. And hence the purpose of this circuit, actually its name is a gyrator, and it is used to emulate inductors by using a capacitor with transconductance stages. And uh, then the effective inductance that we'll have will be C divided by G square. So this is the effective inductance. Now we can calculate what will be the value of uh, Z, the impedance, input uh, impedance uh, with these parameters and at this frequency. So um, let's see. We can go here. Then uh, S for tonal signals is substituted with J omega. And omega is of course 2 pi f. So then to calculate for certain frequencies, so which is given here, 778 uh, megahertz, we have to then substitute with 2 pi. Let's see what we'll have. Then uh, I need I need now to calculate actually what will be Zx in modulus. So I'll drop out the J term. Then let's see. Uh, so it will be 2 times pi. Seven seven eight times megahertz divided by g square, which is four times ten to the power of minus three square. Yeah, let's see. Two pf, two pf, seven seven eight megahertz multiplied by c, which is six, multiplied by six equal yes, and divided by g square, and this is four mini square. Yeah, so this is it. And this is the answer, and we have to round it to the nearest integer so the answer is uh, 1.8 uh, kilo ohm 1.1 let me see 1833 ohms and this will be the impedance of this circuit at this frequency so thank you very much for your attention